Well, Mepkin Abbey is a Roman Catholic monastery. We have 12 monks here at Mepkin, and our work is prayer, prayer for the church and the world. And so it's that praise of God and worshiping God and living in the Word that is our life. We've been here almost 75 years, and 2024 will be 75 years. So 75 years of monks praying here, day in and day out, I think has sanctified the land, made the land peaceful and holy, and in some ways redeemed the land because, you know, there used to be 300 slaves here, okay, with Henry Lawrence, who founded this plantation in 1762. So, and the slaves are buried on the property, and he's buried on the property, so it's like, that's part of our history that we also are very cognizant of. And so there is an amazing feel here for all of that. And the monks, I think, have done something about that by our life here. Mepkin is a Native American word meaning serene. And I think it's the perfect word for this area. It's just beautiful and serene. So people come and spend a lot of time here. A big element of monastic life is hospitality. Mm -hmm. And so we have a retreat house that people can come and stay a week or a weekend with us. So you can come for a program of, of a preach retreat or a guided retreat, something special, or you can come just to be by yourself in an individual experience for several days. The retreat offers a room and the retreat house and all your meals and uh, the opportunity to pray those seven times a day with the monks. So if you just come and live in the silence that we try to live in and pray with us, you are having a marvelous experience that you can't get anywhere else. We welcome everyone because there's so many people non-religious and, and non-denominational who are seeking God or seeking the divine in some way. Maybe sometimes they can't even name it that way, but they're seeking. And that's what we're interested in because we're into that meeting God the way you can, but we set up the environment for that to happen. And that's what I think our gift is.